Old man here, and the packages keep rolling in. Let's open up another one, right now. All right, social media, we've got another package to open here. And I'm kind of excited about this one because this should make my legs feel a bit more comfortable if I'm trying to climb up a tree. So let's see what we got. As if you didn't know already again from the title, it's always fun opening these up though. Let's continue that tradition, shall we? Right. This is a somewhat easy one. I went to the TCI Expo 2022 in Charlotte and went to the Buckingham booth, if you remember that video and came across a couple of items that I was really interested in buying and these are it. Check these out. I picked up a pair of leather shin guards or shin plates or whatever you want to call them for my spikes and they are padded on the inside nice and leather on the outside and should give me a lot of comfort as I'm climbing in the trees. These are really nice. Now, I had my eye on the supersized one of these, but they were absolutely gigantic, and I didn't think of having any practical purpose with that. So I just went with these. I tried these out at the show, if you remember, and uh, they fit pretty nice around uh, my shins. So just to give you an idea of what we're gonna be doing here is, Move these aside. We are going to be taking these traditional ones off of my climbing spikes and replacing them with these ones here. And if you look real close, they're roughly the same size. These are a little smaller than the aluminum ones here, but uh, they're just going to fit like this, as you see, and then we're going to put them on my shins and see how they feel. And then we'll eventually get up in a tree the next time I climb a tree. But that's what we're looking at here. So I think what we should do is go ahead and try to attach these to the uh, aluminum here. And then what we'll do is we'll actually put my boots on and then we'll strap these on my feet and see what they feel like. So stay tuned. We do have to unbuckle some leather straps here though. Just have to remember that in which order these go in when you replace the straps here. I think it's the same on this one. Huh, these are actually going in from the outside. Interesting. I'll take that off. It's going to be on here like this. At least that's what it looks like. Let's look at the instructions, shall we? <laughs> All, right. All right. So now, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take the leather strap, follow the instructions. It's going to come in from um, this side according to the instructions here, which is right there. So that first loop is going to come in through here. Let's see if we can just feed that through. All right, so that's going to come in like this. Yeah, nice. All right, kind of push that through. There we go. Yeah. Check that out. I believe that's how they're going to go on. That's pretty cool. So take a close look at that. It comes in from the edge here. That's where you feed it through. It goes through this leather piece. And then it goes through the loops here. And then it's going to go through these two loops on the other end. And you'll, 
you'll uh, strap it in. So that's pretty neat. Now I haven't conditioned these yet, so I may try to do that at a later point. But at least for the first trial here, I want to try to get these on just to see how they fit and see if they're even comfortable. Yep. And then according to the diagram here, it just goes through this leather piece here. Look at that. That's pretty neat. So at first glance, I'm already liking the way this works compared to the aluminum ones here because I've got a connection on this piece right here and then a connection on the far end where on the aluminum one you only had the strap coming here so when it looped around this would have a tendency to move up and down against the aluminum piece here. With the leather one here it's secured all the way around so I have a feeling that's going to work pretty well on my feet um, keeping this support there. And then of course normally we'll just strap in the back here. And the second one should just go on just like that. No change. Yeah, and even the angle looks really similar. If you look at, if you can get a close-up look there, that angle of how this comes across here, and then compare it to this one is very similar. That's feeding through quite nicely. And we're just going to continue that all the way through and get it through the other end here. You can see that. Give you a close up look at that. And we'll just keep feeding that through. All right. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. What I'm going to do right now is get some socks on, we're going to put the boots on, and then we're going to strap these in and see how they feel. So stay tuned. Now having shorts on is not going to be the best representation. I am prone for wearing shorts all over the place. Of course we'll have our chainsaw pants on and everything else, but for the purposes of the demonstration here, I think this will be good enough. For the purposes of social media, I think we'll be all right. That looks pretty good right there. All right, let's get the first one on, shall we? That's the first one. I gotta tell you, that feels pretty nice. And I'll explain why in a little bit here. Come back with this one a little bit. All right. Now I've got a little more room probably to go another notch on my belt loop here or my strap and probably the same over here. But uh, I gotta tell you, these feel pretty nice. I'm gonna adjust the camera here a little bit. And I'm also gonna get the aluminum one, so stay tuned. So these are very comfortable. I gotta tell you right off the bat. Um, compared to the aluminum ones. The aluminum ones work just fine. Uh, trust me, they're light and they, they work just fine. But these are really comfortable. And here's why. So on the aluminum ones, number one, it's a, it's a foam insert here on the pattern. 
on the pad rather and it's soft it's squishy you know but it's nothing compared to this this is really soft on the inside here as opposed to this so that's an advantage with the leather ones here and the other piece that i'm really digging about these ones that i have on is that <clears throat> on the aluminum ones when it was strapped in what was happening is the corner here was digging into my calf a little bit and my calves would get really sore from that now it wasn't a huge thing but over time you know when you're spending an hour in these things or 30 minutes uh, you can start to feel it on your calves but it wasn't anything where i would be uh preventative from you know continuing on with the job uh, these i don't even feel that at all and they're just really comfortable as, as you can imagine also on this wrap this cushion comes more around my calf than these you could just see it here right there's a lot more cushion on this one than there is wrapping my leg than there is on the aluminum one so that's an advantage too and just overall they feel really nice so there is a steel insert on the inside of this that the leather is wrapping around so that's what's happening with this and man that's comfortable now imagine it with it being filled in here on the top where my pants going to go down in here and it's just going to fill up that gap a little more and make it a little more secure but uh, really nice. What I'm also liking too is I've got a strap on this side at the end. So the strap is covering half of my leg and you just strap in on the back here because it's secure here and it's secure here. Whereas on the aluminum one, you only had one secure point and you just had to rely on the strap to kind of hold that in place. So advantage again on the leather ones that I have here. So, wow, this is really nice. So anyways, That is my review of these. <laughs> Give you a top-down look of them. So far, I'm really happy with the way they feel and the way they look. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these off. I'm gonna remove the strapping. I'm actually going to condition them with some leather conditioner that I have. So they're set for the next time I head up into a tree. So with that, I think I'm gonna close this one out and call it a day and give this one a thumbs up, at least for the time being. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, peace out.